Yo, yo, yo. It's your boy Austin with Just Breathe Pressure Washing. And yeah, as you can see, I'm not on the rig today. I'm actually a CDL driver Monday through Friday. So I'm one of those weekend warriors. I don't get the opportunity to, to, to make my own money uh, during the week. And it's not unfortunate. I mean, I get paid pretty well. Um, and I haven't gotten enough clientele to, to go full time yet. So I'm okay with just being the weekend warrior, but I just want to get on this video real quick. Just let you guys know that if you just now started out like me, I just now started out, I got my LLC, uh, and I think September 9th, I became licensed and registered. I want to say three or four days later. And, um, you're going to, you're right. You're, you're going to run into problems. Just, I'm going to throw it out there. This is not going to take off quickly. Um, I don't have a mentor when it comes to pressure washing. I've learned like probably you clicking on this video and just trying to get some advice on YouTube. And uh, it's hard, especially when you have a family, you have a full time job that brings you into overtime every single day. You still got to focus on your fitness. You go to the gym, you, you got your hobbies, stuff like that. Trying to learn something completely new can be challenging. So, uh, just want to throw some things out there that, uh, that I've experienced that I've noticed in these first couple months is, uh, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna lose a lot of money. And, um, I don't want you to, to, to think of it as losing money because at the end of the day, every dollar that I've spent, I have learned from, right? It's not, it's not, money that's just going down the drain. I put money on a, on a Facebook ad, excuse me, I put money on a Facebook ad and I don't get a single call back in a week. Did I lose money? No. I got some type of analytics to show the age, the sex, the location of all the places that my ad showed up. So from there, I can go and I can get some of that information of, okay, well, it seems like I'm getting the majority of people looking at my, my ad are in between 30 and 42 aged women. And the times that they're looking at my, my, my ads are in between 11 AM and 2 PM. Okay. So maybe they're stay at home moms and they're all within a 10 mile radius of my my house maybe that's who i need to target instead of going and going uh and putting 18 plus up to 60 plus um maybe i need to start targeting closer to, to the ages of 30 and 40. um those are the demographics that seem that they're that are being that are that are noticing my stuff so it's not it's not it's not money lost i learned something from it and the same thing goes with your equipment. I've spent so much money on my pressure washer. I've spent money on my trailer. I've spent money on downstream injectors. I bought a turbo nozzle. I have an X jet. I have all these different things because you get on YouTube and you're, you have this one person saying, oh, well, the best thing is this. And then the best thing is that. No, the best thing is this and the best. It's not all going to work for you. Like for like me. I use a turbo nozzle. I used the turbo nozzle. I don't use it no more because I've been doing just as, just as well with the green tip as I do with the turbo nozzle. And I'm not kicking shit back up in my face. It's, it's, I mean, it's a time and a place, but I'm not peeling paint off of cement. When I pressure wash, I'm basically doing a, a, a driveway and sidewalk most of the time. I don't need a turbo nozzle for what? Um, so, I mean, that's, what is it, eight, what, some turbo nozzles go up to like $80. That was $80 I spent. But if I would have never spent that money, I would have never experienced the turbo nozzle. I would have never known what it can do and how it can possibly damage stuff and whatever. And, but if I ever need one, I got one. Um, so you're going you're gonna to spend money. You're not going to make the money back immediately. And there's going to be nights where you're up until 12, 1 o'clock in the morning, and it's just like, Ah, man, it's not going nowhere. I'm going to quit. It's not, it's not, I, 
Some people are making six figures. This person made $43,000 last month and I got one job for $150. How long has he been doing it? How much money did he have in his bank before he started? Um, did he have a friend that owned a pressure washing business that allowed him to work for him to give him advice on what to do and what not to do before he even started? Did he, have, did he have a financial advisor that told him how much money to invest into the business and taught him? Did he have a background in marketing? You never know. Don't compare yourself to what other guys are that you're seeing because a lot of the times they're not telling you their failures. They're not telling you all the stuff that they had to go through before they got to where they are now. So me, I'm just trying to be as transparent as possible. Um, I don't get jobs every weekend. Shit, I probably get sometimes two jobs in a month. I mean, I've only had two genuine, authentic, hold on, two genuine, authentic leads from Facebook and uh, door hangers. That's it. Every other job that I've gotten was all word of mouth. And uh, just, just wanted to throw it out there that don't give up. There's going to be times where you're going to make a shit ton of money. You're going to get that one job that's going to bring in five or six clients. Sometimes you're not going to get those, but it's all learned experiences. Uh, look at look at everything as growing pains. You're right now. You're just a seed. You're receiving your nourishment, but you're not getting your nourishment as you're not getting as much nourishment as you need to sprout the roots yet. But once you start sprouting the roots, then the seed can, I guess, break the soil and then start receiving the nutrients from the sun. But it's all going to be growing stages up until you sprout and you're fully matured and then you take off. And once you take off, then it's then you get to sit back. But it's a it's a trial and error. Some people say it takes them their first year. They're not going to make anything back. They're going to spend ten thousand dollars and make back nine thousand five hundred. But it happens. It's a part of life. So um, just a voice of encouragement. Keep your heads up, guys. Um, don't beat yourself up about it, because my wife had to sit me down. I want to say two weeks ago and tell me, bruh, you need to chill because you may not see it. You are your own worst critic. You may not see it, but I see all the hard work that you're putting in and I see the benefits that's going to reap later on. Excuse me. So with that being said, you guys keep on grinding. Keep on doing all your research on YouTube or, or all of the websites that you watch. Power Wash, I think there's a Power Wash forum that you can go and you can you can ask advice and, and read other people's comments, stuff like that. Get as much advice as you can. Be a, a, a lifelong learner and keep keep grinding. Keep your head down and, and push forward. So, oh snap, there's a, a Texas Longhorn out in Tampa, Florida, isn't that? Damn, I think that's what you call it, a Texas Longhorn, or a little, the bulls, they got the long, long, long horns. I think that's what it's called. I never saw one in Tampa before. But, um, yeah, guys, keep digging. Until next time, peace.